guys, I'm going to talk about how to slow down your animation in Maya today. So let's take a look at a, a fast animation, right? So first I'm going to go through some things you can do in Maya just to check your settings so that you can make sure that it's actually playing at the right frame rate. So first of all, go down to here. Mine says it's going at 12 frames per second, right? So this I just use as, as an example, but pretty much all animation is done at 24 frames per second. If you're working in film, film records at 29.97 frames per second, or sometimes they'll just round up and say 30 frames per second, right? So you should just leave this at 24 frames a second and just not touch it, probably, unless the project specifically tells you to work at a different frame rate that by itself that's going to fix mine basically this is still going kind of fast you can right click on the timeline and go to playback speed and make sure this is set to either real time or play every frame real max real time so this is basing the speed off of how fast your computer is calculating all the animation in, in the scene right is how fast maya is calculating everything so playing at every frame free, if you have a really fast computer, then your animation is going to be playing really fast. If you have a slow computer, it'll play slow. Real time is going to play at 24 frames per second at your frame rate, but that means that if you have a really slow computer, it might cut out some frames here and there. And then this play every frame max real time, this is for if you have like a, a faster computer then it'll play as fast as it needs to, but then only play at the max speed real time, right? So I'm just going to set that to real time, right? So this is the speed that I animated. it. So now we've gone through the settings, the Maya settings that you might want to change. So what if you do all this and your animation is still fast, right? Like you want it to be slower or faster. What you can do is grab all of your keys Right, so my animation is, we'll just say it starts on 1 here and goes to 70. So my, my animation is 70 frames long. We can extend the timeline a little bit. So let's, just for example, I'm going to double how long my animation is. So I'm going to go make so my timeline ends on frame 140. And then I'm going to shift, right click, and drag on the timeline until I get all of my keys. Right, And you can just drag this, stretch it out. That stretches out all the keys. And now when I play the animation, it's going to play slow. Right There, that's slow. Next thing is in the graph editor, Windows Animation Editors graph editor which looks like this first I'm going to grab all the keys again and here's my graph editor so if you say you just have one part of the animation you want to slow down or speed up I really like this tool over here it looks like a trampoline from the side like a boxy M. Click on that. that. This is called the retime tool. First what you want to do is put a key after the first key and before the last key because this is going to slide everything around in between. So say, I'm, say I put a key right in the middle. It's going to stretch out the stuff on one side while it squishes the stuff on the other side. And if I don't have these locked on the ends, then as I stretch, this side is just going to get longer. So sometimes you want to do that, but usually I like to have more control and I just lock all the keys, right? Something to think about before you do this is if you're moving stuff around in the middle, uh, you might have things, parts of the animation that are keyed on different frames and by locking different parts and moving things around you might accidentally 
get it off sync with each other. So if there's anywhere that you specifically want everything to stay exactly in the pose that you have or something, then I'll go to that frame. So say, especially on frame one and the end, I'll just grab everything and hit S and just set a key on everything so that it's locked. And then in the parts that I want to stretch up, so say, say like this first hop, I want to make fast and this second hop I want to make slow, right? So I'll go like right before the first hop, say 60, set a key on everything. And then right in between 93, I'll set a key and there I'll set another key. All right, so if I go back to my graph editor, so I had 90, or, <laughs> sorry, uh, let's see, where was I? 60, 93, and 124. So if I take this retime tool, go to 60, 93-ish, and 124, I should have things locked there, so I'm actually going to move. You can grab the bar, like the skinny part of the bar, and not the, the fat part in the middle. Grab the skinny part, you can drag it without sliding things around. So I'm going to put it right on the inside of that key I just made. So now I'm going to make the first one fast and the second one slow. So I'm going to drag this over. So that first hop, it just squished everything in between those two keys that I set. And then it stretched out the stuff between the second two keys that I set. So now, point fast, slow. So that's, I like to play around with this retime tool a lot just to get things feeling more dynamic, give it more of a rhythm in the scene or the shot. So there you go. There's a bunch of things you can try. Let me know if this did if this did help or if it didn't if it didn't i'm curious and then we can troubleshoot more ways to make things slower but i hope that helps and have an awesome day